Hello and welcome back to this tutorial. Um, I'm going to teach you some more advanced skills now. Remember, follow everything I do step by step so you have the ski skills yourself. We're going to be looking at doing things like moving, which is this one, and spline over here. So if we go back to our space plane drawing, it uh, looks something like this. First thing I'm going to teach you is how to move things around. If I clicked on select, and then uh, let's say I dragged over these buttons, I can actually move these. If I um, uh, click on this icon here, move, um, if I click on an arrow, I can actually drag, see this red one for example, and move the buttons over. I might hit spacebar now and actually specify the distance I want it to move. If I clicked on the green arrow, I could move it in this direction. Again, hit space and you can type in the measurement you wanted to move things. Um, likewise, let's say I wanted two joysticks. Uh, if I um, if I clicked over the whole joystick and hold control as I move things, I can actually duplicate. I can't, I'm not sure exactly the distance I need to travel, but I'm just going to type in 50 and see how that looks. Um, now those buttons look a bit close together, but it gives you an idea of how you can duplicate um, uh, objects using move um, and holding control. Now, First thing I'm going to show you is how to, I'm going to actually put in, I'm going to go into sketch mode, I'm going to put some handles in this design. So I'm going to go plan view and I'm going to click on this thing here, construction line. And in the very center of my controller, I'm going to go down and I'm going to right click on my construction line and set as a mirror line. Now, I'm going to use this thing called um, offset. I'm going to click and drag in and I'm going to specify a distance, let's say five millimeters. And then I'm going to use uh, this line tool to draw some sort of zigzag patterns. Imagine this is where my fingers are going to sit. Uh, now that doesn't look very ergonomic as it is, so what I'm going to do is add some curves. I'm going to do this tangential arc feature. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to click here and here, looking for the two lines that line up. Here and here. And pan down a bit. Here and here. So I'm starting to add gradual curves. And then pan to the bottom. Here and here. Now I don't need these little lines, so I'm going to trim those away. Trim the like so, so I'm getting one continuous line all the way up my controller. Be careful not to delete anything you don't mean to. And then you should be left with um, completed sweeping curve. Now I'm going to pull that through. So if I go back into design and then uh, 3D mode, it's given me a face there and one here, and I want to get rid of them. It's actually left this mirror plane. I'm going to delete that completely. I don't need that line either. Press delete on my keyboard. Now if I click and then pull, I can actually just push that all the way through the controller. The same with this one. I can click and push that all the way through the controller. OK, so now it's more like a sort of steering wheel design. I want to do one thing, make it more ergonomic, and curve it underneath. So to do that, uh, curve it sort of like uh, in a different direction. I'm going to click on the top here. I'm going to go into sketch mode, plan view, and I'm going to draw a box directly in the center. I'm going to go from here to here. Okay, and I'm going to pull this up. Okay, I can't quite see it. Yeah, pull that up. I'm going to make this like a display screen okay so imagine there'll be like information displayed on there like the battery life and here's a, a handy cool thing to do if I clicked on this face if I zoomed in and clicked on that face and then I went into sketch mode it's not a very handy view actually let me rotate it round okay 3d mode again. I'm going to rotate it round okay so I can see this side of the controller 
I'll pivot that round. Now if I click on this face, try again, sketch mode, I click on plan view, you might need to rotate this angle thing here. I'm actually going to cut a curve out in the center. If I clicked on this uh, thing here, three point arc, okay, I'm going to click, uh, let's go here for example, I'm going to go to the center, 37, what's 37 times 2? Um, is it 74 I think? Okay, what I'm going to do, and once I've done that distance, I'm then going to go up to a point here for example, click again. Now I've got a curve that perfectly sort of sits either side of my controller. I'm going to click line and I'm going to go from one face here to the other. Now if I go back into home view and design 3D mode, you wonder why I've done that. Why have I left this sort of thing, this plane uh, sitting out? If I click on that, I can actually uh, pull material. Now that looks very odd, doesn't it? Don't mean to do that. But if you click here, cut, cut, it actually removes material. And then I could click on that face and push that all the way through. So now I've got a really ergonomic looking controller. If we click on home, if I pan it round, you see I've started to make a really nice looking ergonomic controller. So give that a go, um, copying exactly the skills I've taught you.